All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word and love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shatia from the Chicago camp just doing a uh, a response to uh, old, old uh, E and J and his groupies. All right. And as I was watching the video, you know this guy, E and J and his his fan club. This guy's going into all different types of scriptures, and you know he want to show that he's halfway deep and saying that, well, you got to look up the word cosmos and stuff like that. I was like, man, okay, he's still lightweight and a goofball, but nonetheless, let me keep watching. So as I was watching the video, this guy, I, I can't say it verbatim, but he, he was basically saying that nobody knows who the Israelites are and who the nations are. And I'm like, hold up here. If you or, or or nobody else knows who the nations are, it's like, what are you doing out on the street teaching? Okay? If you don't know who the nations are, how are, how are you even reading the Bible? Okay? Because in order to understand certain prophecies, you have to understand who the nations are. If you don't know who the Israelites are, who's salvation for? If you don't know who the nations are, who's the one nation out of all the nations on the earth who's guaranteed no mercy by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? If you don't know who the nations are, how do you know uh, 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 who the dragons are? How do you know who's God and may God? I mean that 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 that's a huge part of the doctrine knowing who the nations are. And according to you Nobody knows who the Israelites are. Nobody knows, knows who the nations are. So if you don't know who the Israelites are and who the other nations are, why are you out on, on, on for I give you the benefit of a doubt, why are you on the corner teaching? Why are you sitting behind a camera? Why are you on comic boards trying to tell people that Salvation is not for Israel. If you don't know who the nations are, how can you even begin to preach? Now you may folks may look at this and say, well, may, maybe he his his understanding isn't up that far, which is true. But if you watch the video, you, you have to hear it in the context that he said it in the way he said it he didn't say nobody knows and he didn't know who the nations are in the sense that you know i'm still reading the bible my understanding is not there and i'm working on it and eventually i'll find out no 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 oh irk and jerk didn't say it that way he said it in the sense that he doesn't know as in he's done all this research and he's so profound in the scripture and, and with all this researching and studying and reading, he's come to the conclusion that he doesn't know who, who the other nations are. Nobody knows. And if that's the case, why are you making the argument who the Gentiles are? Because if you don't know who the nations are, everybody can be the Gentiles if you think about it that way. Or if that's the case, maybe nobody's the Gentiles. Amen. 
you, Irk and Jerk, and your groupies, you all, whoever paid you all off to come against uh, uh, the men of GMS, tell them, hey, I tried my best. I'm going to go sit down. Thank you for the money. All right? Because you made it abundantly clear that you know absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing about the scripture. I mean, granted, you're a heathen, okay? You won't understand anyway, but you've made it abundantly clear for someone who so-called knows the scriptures that you know absolutely nothing all right but if you so choose to continue on this path all right you need to step your game up tremendously and i well i shouldn't say tremendously i mean exponentially all right And, and we're we're gonna get some scripture, all right. To uh to basically talk about how you just made an ass of yourself on camera, talking about you don't nobody knows who the nations are, okay. Since you want to come up and debate, acting like you know it all, we're going to go to 1 John, okay, 2 and 20. And it says, but ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth. But because ye know it and that no lie is of the truth. All right. Basically, you have. Uh, uh, unction is like an endowment, like an anointing. OK. From the Holy One. But in order to have that, you got to have the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is this truth, this understanding of this, this, this knowledge, wisdom and understanding, according to. uh I want to say it's in the gospel according to John. I want to say it's like 15 and things like 15 and 26. I wasn't planning on getting it, but I'll, I'll get it anyway. It says this is uh, the gospel according to John 15 and 26. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send you from the father, even the spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. And I think there's one in 14 as well. Uh, yes, 14 and 26. It says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. All right? And that matches up with this. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, which is the Holy Spirit, the script, and ye know all things. Now, it's a possibility you might have not read that one, okay? Because if you were to have read those precepts, you would know that the Most High is not going to give you a book. If you're a man of the Lord, the Most High is not going to give you a book, all right, that you cannot read and understand and be able to break down. If you truly call yourself a man of the Lord, irk and jerk, all right, you should be able to know who the nations are. All right. Let me get another one. We're going to go to 
the book of Acts. All right, 20 and 27. And it says, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Yahweh. So how are you claiming to be this man of the Lord and, and, and you going out and preaching this gospel and you don't know who the nations are? Okay? Because if that's the case, you're not preaching the whole gospel. That's still it. And that's in the New Testament. Let me read it again. Acts 20 and 27. It says, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Yahweh. So if you don't know who the nations are, you're hiding the gospel from people. And if you're hiding the gospel from people, then... I had to ask, well, well, what's your motive? All right. Last precept. And I'm going to end it on this, man, because because you, you really ain't worth the time. But, you know, orders are orders. OK, this is Ecclesiasticus 5 and 15. All right. And it says, Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. And you coming up to brothers, and you're ignorant in the fact that you don't know who the nations are. And as I said earlier in the video, if you do not know who the nations are, how are you possibly preaching this gospel? How are you possibly uh, going out and explaining the prophecies to other people? Because every single nation has prophecies declared against it and for it. So if you don't know who the nations are, oh, uh, who who does the uh, who 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 fits Leviticus twenty six and Deuteronomy twenty eight? Who fits the prophecy in Obadiah? Hey man, you irking jerk. You and your groupies just need to take a powder, man. All right. Like I said, whatever money you got paid for, take it and, 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 and get you some hoes. Invest in Bitcoin. Hey, man, do whatever you need to do, man. Or, or buy a new computer so you can keep trolling and watching us in secret. Or in probably whatever you want to do, man. Just sit down, man. You, you, you clowns are lightweight. But... In any case, I hope that was edifying for you other brothers. And once again, I want to give all glory on and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this truth and love truth, pushing this word and love, truth, sincerity, and humility. With that, we're going to say Shalom.